Hey, my name is Taylor. This video is the last four months of my life living in a pandemic. While it may seem peaceful and almost normal, know that it was not always the case. This vlog does not cover everything that was the opposite of that. There are a lot of complex and competing emotions that have been going on. I've had some joy, time spent in stillness, and bouts of depression. All I know is these four months went by faster than my whole life. I think it's important to keep taking it day by day, doing the best that we can. Know that it's okay to just stop, look around, and just be. Life as we knew it officially shut down on the weekend of March 21st. For us, that meant a head start on gardening. Except everyone and their mom filled up the parking lots and had the same idea. I did get to try this sub place though that I never knew existed, but it was part of Lee's college days. We got cucumbers, basil, tomatoes, and dill for our backyard. To open my mind and say what I never thought I'd Fortunately, for both Lee and I, we still had our jobs. I've been able to work from home pretty often whenever I can, but for Lee, that was a new change. I semi-jokingly told him to turn our creepy attic into his office. And, uh, yeah, he really did it. Lee just came back from Lowe's. What did you get? All right, I got some lights. I got an extension cord, and I got an adapter to turn my or the light that's up there into a, a outlet. Dun dun dun! Why are you making the attic your new office again? Uh, because I've been working at the couch, and it's causing a lot of like problems in my chest uh, from the slouching. So I need a better space to work. <laughs> so you want the clapper? Ooh, actually with that butt. <laughs> okay, off into the darkness he goes. So you want the clapper so you can just clap on the light? Yeah, because this thing is hard to pull. True. Ooh. Cute. Cute. Oh my gosh. You look like the lady who sits in her chair in the Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> and judges everyone. No, she actually looks like this way. And it, the painting gets ruined. It's like, not the red alert, but like the sitter. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The other thing I was trying to figure out is, is that harmful? What? Oh! Stuff. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Alright, take two of the home office in the attic. It's dark. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh huh. Oh, wait, what is this chair doing here? Oh, is this a desk? With a little ottoman for your feet? Okay. <laughs> Where's your plant? Here, pick it up. Can't see it. Ooh, little snake plant. Yep. Air purification. And you know, little oxygen that's needed to sustain life. Yeah, but then also uh, I'm gonna order an air purifier because uh, <laughs> that little plant can't do everything. Aw. Um, Good call. I am coming up. I normally don't like coming up here because I have to take off my slippers, but I actually have removed them so I can get up this attic without dying. Ugh. Oh god. As you can tell, I don't like heights. Oh gosh. See, so you removed the cardboard <laughs> and you moved your you moved your desk. Hold on. Wow, wow, that's nice. 
it. I think uh, I'm gonna put some something like on this wall to like cover up so it looks a little shitty. And it has to be like my background for when I do meetings and stuff. Oh. And then probably okay. like a rug. You gotta put this is where you put the sun. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I'll get, get some a sunlight. Of the sun. <laughs> Dope. Well, this is our attic, and as you can tell, it's full of everything that we want to ignore, except for this plant. We're not ignoring this plant. My job has it so that I can only take one day off every month. It's kind of nice, though, because it's usually a Friday where I can take a breather and do whatever I want. Lee and I make it a staycation, and... We overall have spent a good amount of time walking around outdoors because, well, everything's closed. Wait, you're not eating. Hello? We walked away. Okay. You don't want to I woke up this morning to find my hair like this. As you could tell, it's going every which way. So I am way too lazy on all days, every day, to do anything to my hair. But on an occasion like this, I clearly have to like, I don't know, straighten it, do something with it to look like it's not a hot mess. So that's why I'm very excited to just let go of all of this extra length that I don't really need and therefore can just help me continue be the lazy person that I am. <laughs> of a boat or yacht and would like to be financially dominated, please let me know. Your girl has no problem enjoying the nice things that you have. I feel like this goose is every mom waiting on their kids to finish up with their shit. <laughs> the f is Bobby? Y'all see Bobby? Get, get Bobby over here. Waiting on his ass forever. I went out to explore this area, really hoping to find some restaurant that sells me some ice cream, but it looks like this is just freaking trails. So I have been duped. Where's my reward for doing absolutely nothing? This is how you know this area is for the rich. They provide a complimentary hand sanitizer and washing stations. Mm. I'll buy, we are in a construction area, but that's also because you know, new housing development, AKA gentrification. Welcome to Richmond. Checking out this little monument here. Seems to got some history. This history got me feeling some kind of way. I do not agree a hundred and 10% with the overthrow of the Native Americans, but you know what? Here we are. Have you ever had two separate worlds collide? It's weird when your boyfriend and friend become best friends and you're like, uh, hello? <laughs> Hi, Abby, if you're watching this. This event was supposed to take place at 7 a.m., but of course, we were running late. 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday. Oddly enough, but I guess not surprisingly, there is a lot of amount of cars and people walking towards like the Dead Nation site. And I feel like because we are in a pandemic and have been self-distancing slash isolating, people have nothing else better to do at this early in the morning. So, um, oh God. I don't know. Literally, I read an article this morning that said this is not a sporting event to go watch. <laughs> but here we are, a whole bunch of people just coming along to see what an implosion looks like. And well, quite frankly, we're doing the same thing, so. <laughs> and there, and like, oh my God, there's like a bunch of people where we wanna park. So this is just not good. They have the same kind of idea that we have, which, is kind of not what I was expecting, low key, but whatever. Half the population of the city is coming to see this, like it's a fireworks event. And 
it's ruining our plans, so we have to readjust. I like how these cars are parked here. Yeah. <laughs> We're just hanging out. <laughs> Dang it, why didn't we do this? I guess we got our exercise in though. like the new year ball and it drops and I'm very confused because I'm like wait what because when did the timer go off some good things though from the pandemic I finally understood everyone's addiction to coffee I also spent a lot of time learning thanks to Creative Mornings and RebelCon. Social distancing picnics were also a nice way to see humans after quite some time. Alright y'all, I don't think it's a real bird because it doesn't even blink. What the heck? It does breathe, I'll give you that. I usually go back to my hometown every other week, but now it's just once a month. It's still nice though to see my best friends as I miss her normal shenanigans. We usually meet outdoors, but that means we're subjected to mother nature. When it stormed, we had to relocate to an empty parking lot, but as it turns out, someone was having a big ass party with a great DJ. We tried to find this house out of curiosity, and we were more than successful, I would say. Get in some ice cream! Like we're 12. <laughs> Thanks, Mom! <laughs> oh, snap! Who's balling out here? Ooh, 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 ooh! What they say? <laughs> My favorite kitty's here. Hi. How are you? Okay. Oh snap! Look at you enjoying this sidewalk. Are you itchy? You look like you're itchy. You ran all time over here. I'm gonna help you out. I got you, girl. I got you. same time oh inception I, I clearly can't see what he's doing but I can see me hello and our camera set up oh oh now I can see what he's doing oh look at that butt hey <laughs> you and me buddy you and me have had better days huh Nostalgia. Just gotta say that even in the pandemic, they're maintaining this grass quite well. So that means somebody has money. Y'all, I just wanna say that right now it is so nice and very rarely does Virginia have 
nice evenings. It's usually like humid. So it's nice and breezy out in this park and I'm here for it. Oh God, nearly died. More importantly though, we are here to visit these pedestals. They once upon a time had racist statues and now they're not there anymore. So woohoo. We've arrived at the crime scene. There's a lot of protection going on here for this piece of concrete. Probably worth millions. In fact, there's probably gold inside. All right, y'all. Um, very rude. These mosquitoes are eating us alive out here when we're just freaking taking a nighttime stroll. It's like they thrive in nighttime or something. Oh. Walking down the. What is this called? Street. Not a real street though. It's like a. It's Schaefer Street. Oh, legit? Walking down Schaefer Street! Because on the left is um, Schaefer Hall and ahead is the library. And I remember feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Not one with the crowd. I'm walking through here back in college days. There's Schaefer Hall, famous BCU sign. Expensive new library. Fun fact this Starbucks is um, one of the most popular ones, I guess, in the state. Which makes a lot of sense because plenty of all nighters have been had here in this building. This little, like, glass view here will be a really cool scene to record for, like, I don't know, a romantic skit. A dude could be walking by and then he locks eyes with that one person, aka me, sitting there in the corner. But unfortunately, they never see each other again. Because, you know, romance movie. All you VCU people, you gotta know what this place is. If you don't, you're not a true local and you haven't supported the OG Boba Tea Shop. Wait a minute, okay, so the reason why I feel like the this place hasn't been sorry for the noise. Oh my god, there's a whole plane and traffic coming up. That what? I thought somebody stole you. <laughs> oh which was my pink honey. Ooh. Ooh. He was telling me that this is his favorite flavor, but nobody really orders it that much. Fashion fruit? Yeah. Passion fruit's pretty dope, actually. Uh, I don't even know if they sell that at the store. He said it was like, his is different. It's like a blend of like sweet and salty. Oh, that's pretty or, cool. Sorry, sweet and sour. Oh, is this a little uh, secret tip? Nice. Oh, hell yeah. That tastes like the passion fruit from Vietnam. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Grilling celery? Yep. That was anticlimactic. I was expecting you to open up the steak. Uh, the steak's already done. Really? Yep. Mm. Celery might taste like shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hello, buddy. What you doing here? Aren't you the cutest thing? Hi. Hello. You don't really belong here, do you? Whoopee. I see how it is. I see how it is.
了，难道我就不懂吗？树枝上也落了。The Broad was a co-working space for women and gender minorities that, unfortunately, just didn't make it because of the pandemic.、Oh. Even though I was a member for only a few months, I will miss it. Though these stairs always had me out of breath. I still got to visit this beautiful place for one last time at their yard sale. Since the pandemic, we try to visit Lee's hometown once a month to see his parents and friends. It's been interesting to learn a new city and get a glimpse of what his life was like growing up. It literally says pizza right there. Yeah, end zone.、Uh, they used to have. They might still do it. Oh yeah, they still do it. All right, so.、Uh, For three dollars, you can get two slices of pizza and, and a like medium drink. That's a、uh, great deal. It was fucking great. I mean, it's two slices of cheese pizza. I think you maybe can get pepperoni, but、uh, they have like the greasiest pizza on the planet. Oh, this is the one that you were talking about. Yeah, it's good. It's fucking good. I'm gonna call mom and see if、uh, she wants greasy ass pizza. No, if they have any food or not. Because if not, I'm gonna get to me and Zoe. Oh my gosh! And then knock out with I- the itis. No,、nah. I mean you're driving home. So you, but yeah, but that means you're gonna knock out with the itis. No,、uh, I gotta book it. Okay. <laughs> I'll go take some shots of coffee moonshine, and I'll wake right up. No. Oh my god, this door's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> This is like an absurd deal. One slice of pizza for three thirty and a drink. Two slices. You got two slices. You wanted them for me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, snaps. <laughs> well, you gotta open it, honey. Dun dun dun. <gasps> Ah, is that real cheese too? Oh, you know it's real cheese. <laughs> But we're here.